Will anybody buy the Samsung Galaxy S10? Hey there friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech tech, so honest it hurts. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here and you want to come back again, well, you know, you can do that by liking the video. Subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. Come on back and see me if you want to see some tech news and thoughts and all that kind of stuff. And if you've been here before, well, thanks for coming back. Samsung Galaxy S10. Now, we know that the Galaxy S10 line was going to be unveiled on February 20th in San Francisco at the Billy Graham Civic Auditorium or whatever it's called. And we know a few things about the device. Now, there have been leaks and then recently more leaks. And so we're going to go over some of what the Samsung S10 line is going to look like. And then we're going to talk about whether or not any of that's gonna matter so first let's get into what we know there's gonna be three phones there's gonna be an s10 Lite. there's gonna be an s10 there's gonna be an s10 plus now it could be the s10 e at any rate most people are saying s10 Lite. now that's gonna come with four gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of storage the standard s10 is gonna come with six gigabytes of ram 128 and 256 gigabytes of storage the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus will come with configurations of 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128, 256, and 512 gigabytes of storage available on that S10 Plus model. Later on in the year, they're going to they're going to put out a little bit of a more high-end version. The Galaxy S10 Plus 5G model will have 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM and can go all the way up to 1 terabyte of storage internal storage now that brrr, nobody needs that much storage nobody needs that much storage nobody needs 512 you know because the days and when we put movies and stuff on our phones is over because we live in the cloud but you can buy it it's coming in addition to this s10 line we are going to see most likely at this february event the galaxy x their foldable phone which reportedly has 12 gigabytes of ram as well and can get 512 or one terabytes worth of storage for screen sizes on the s10 line we've got 5.8 for the light we've got 6.1 for the s10 and we've got 6.4 for the s10 plus we got battery sizes of 3100 milliamp hours 3500 milliamp hours and 4000 milliamp hours respectively that's pretty good considering that the battery of the s9 plus last year was 3300 milliamp hours and uh, this phone is even thinner than last year's s9 series and of course later on in the year we can expect to see the galaxy note 10 a slightly different body design to what the s10 plus may already be uh, they could surprise us this year but usually it's an s pen maybe a few more features a slightly different body design than the s number line for the note that leads us to the big question though the big question is will anyone buy these phones or will enough people buy these phones for samsung to make a rebound over last year's phones now there's no secret that smartphone sales have sort of fallen off a little bit both apple and samsung have reported uh drop-offs in sales that are precipitous perhaps you could say. Last year, Samsung's S series didn't really do a whole lot to move the needle. There wasn't a ton different about the S9 versus the S8. And so I think a lot of people just decided like, well, hey, I don't need to go there. Maybe they're waiting for the S10 and that, that will help the S10 sales. What's different about the S10 line that's going to entice people to buy this phone over the phones that have been available to them previously well we have a new screen design where we're going to see one or two holes in the screen uh, and much less bezel the holes are for the front facing camera there's going to be under the screen fingerprint reader at the very least the s10 plus is going to have three camera lenses on the back the s10 may also have three the s10 light is only going to possibly have two all of this of course being speculation based on the rumors that have been leaking out of everywhere at this point seemingly giving us all the information that we need to know about the galaxy s10 line but will any of that be enough to get people to upgrade will they be good 
maybe even great phones in their own bubble yes i think i think that they will samsung always does a great job there are improvements that are on paper here that if they do find their way into the final designs of the phone will be improvements over last year's phones however will that be able to move the needle back in the right direction in the marketplace because one thing that we've discovered over the past year or so is that there are plenty of good maybe great phones out in the wild today and whereas in the old days people might have wanted to upgrade phones year after year because the next year's phone might work considerably better than the previous year's phone in this day and age the s8 the older iphones all of these phones are continuing to perform incredibly well and people are just not as interested in upgrading as often as they could so in return samsung and apple have bumped their prices for their phones in order to make up the gap of people who aren't upgrading it's quite possible that at this point we've gone from phone sales have plateaued to phone sales have started to fall off and when companies like apple and samsung have put so much time effort and value into their phone lines what happens when people stop buying them tell me are you going to go out and upgrade your phone this year whether or not you're a samsung person or an iphone person or whatever it is that you have are you looking forward to the new lines of phones that are going to be coming out in 2019 did you upgrade in 2018 were you waiting since 2017 for something brand new to come along it seems like while the samsung s10 line is going to be a good iterative update of the phones that have come before there's not going to be a ton that really makes it different enough that brings enough to the table to make the average person say i need that over what i've already got i don't know maybe i'm wrong you tell me what you think down in the comments i'm really anxious to hear what you have to say the more the news rolls in the more i have to think that smartphone sales are just going to continue to decline and as they do so maybe we'll see more innovation on a year-to-year -year basis from these companies maybe there's not that kind of innovation that can happen from a year-to-year -year basis anymore smartphones have become like automobiles in which each year there's a new model of last year's model and maybe it has a few differences here and there maybe something cosmetic maybe something under the hood but there's not so much different that you feel like you have to go out and buy the new car every year it's quite possible in fact quite probable that we've gotten there already with smartphones the galaxy s10 line is going to be the first to come out we'll have more coming out at mobile world congress later on and we'll get a sense of what this is going to look like in 2019 with the Galaxy S10 line being the canary in the coal mine to show us whether or not the interest is, is soft in new smartphones for 2019 or if this will in fact be a year where people go out and buy new phones. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this going to be a soft year for Samsung and all the rest of the smartphone industry, or are we going to see something new and exciting happen? I'm excited intellectually to see what the S10 line has to offer. I don't know that I'm actually excited for the phones themselves. I, it'll be a curiosity, but it won't be something where I feel like having had a Note 9, I will need to go get an S10 because it's so much better than what I already got. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Again, if this was your first time here and you want to come on back, then you can like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon and come on back to get all of your tech news and opinions. If you've been here before, then you know that I love you and I love every time that you come back. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.